Hey everyone, it is Carly Myers here with Work You Love. Um, this is a different format, huh? Hey. <laughs> um, so I know that um, if you follow me um, on my regular Facebook page or you're someone in my life, um, you know that I'm an artist. And so um, a lot of my clients uh, and I really this is really new to me, so I apologize for the ums and the ahs because I'm usually doing this in a private setting with private clients. So a lot of my private clients uh, have been saying to me, Carly, you haven't shown the world any of your creative stress reduction, which is one of the most powerful things that you work with people um, with in a private setting. And so I decided I'm going to start doing some Facebook Lives um, showing you all how to use creativity to reduce your stress. So I thought I'd start today with um, an example of something that I do um, to reduce my stress. Now this is something a little more complicated. I'll probably come on um, over the coming weeks, months, um, etc. with you know, some more simple creative stress reduction techniques. But I want to show you what I do when I am really in a rut and I feel like I've had a really crazy day. Uh, and it really helps me reduce stress and overwhelm and help me refine that sense of calm. So here's some uh, an actual work of progress that uh, I started a while back. And so I'm going to take you through the overview here first in terms of how to do this or how I do this. Um, and then we'll, I'll show you kind of the, the beginning stages of how this process looks like for me. So usually when I'm feeling really, really overwhelmed, I take a piece of paper and um, I marble it. Now marbling is a complicated practice. I don't expect you guys to know what it is um, or even to do it. But I basically it consists of me putting ink on water and then putting the piece of paper upside down on the surface of water and it pulls back these gray areas. So let me show you an example here. So you can see here, this is the ink on the surface of the water. So I like to do that because I'm very symbolic and um, artsy in that way. And I like to think that we're all handed a extenuating, you know, hand of cards. We're handed circumstances that we uh, can't control, that are beyond our control. So I like to think that this is what, you know, this is the hand that life has, has handed us. Now I go even further into that and I start thinking about what it is that I'm really feeling. So that's where all of these scribbles come in. So let's actually start with a new one. So you might have a piece of paper. You don't have to have the marbling. Um, if you want to get a fancy piece of paper with dots and discoloration or whatever, you can. But what I do is I like to think, okay, what am I feeling right now? Well, right now, guys, I'm currently feeling a little um, exhausted. I'm feeling emotionally overwhelmed and exhausted. So what does that look like? Um, we're not going to draw like a person crying or, you know, a person like all cuddled up into themselves. What we're going to do is we're going to try to find the essence of that emotion. So feeling maybe emotionally exhausted. Um, let's see. I mean, what, what does emotionally exhausted look like to you guys? Is it scribbles? Is it um, a flat line? What is it? So maybe for me, I'm expressing my emotions in uh, my current state is I feel very flatline. But then I also have this, this amount of frustration. So like, ah, right? And so whatever, whatever it is that you're feeling, you're gonna try to express it in an abstract way. Right? And so this is just about getting that energy out that feels trapped. It just feels trapped in you. And this is a really, really great emotional release. Now, I'm going to make it a shorter version for you guys so we're not here forever. Um, you can go until you feel like you've expressed it. Um, and really, look, this is, not, this is not art here, right? This is not, we're not trying to be perfect. We're not trying to draw a dog or a cloud or, you know, whatever. We are just letting pure emotion out, okay? Now, that is part of the meditation practice practice that's part of the creative stress reduction now what I like to do is I like to go back into it so hence where we get images like this one where okay I'm gonna highlight the extenuating circumstances the the, the life cards the things that I can't quite change and I'm gonna make those work for me I'm gonna make those beautiful so for this piece I really went 
you know, in. I went back in and I was like, this is actually a really beautiful circumstance. You know, whatever it is. And I'm going to, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to outline it. Right. And I already did that here. So I'm not going to do it again. And I'm going to pull those back up to the forefront. These are you know, these are the benefits of life. These are the things that serve us. These are also the things that don't serve us. It's symbolically, we're pulling that out. And then, then we go into the emotion piece. So we have this stuff here, and this is where the meditation, the creative stress reduction really comes in. We sit and we, we outline each and every one of these lines. So let me give you an example here. Because I don't have that marker color for you um, today. So First, we're gonna go in, right, with, uh, in, into one of these circumstances, the things that life has already given us. And we're gonna outline that, and we're gonna highlight it. Right, and we're thinking about that as we're doing it. And you guys can use any materials. I'm using markers, I love fine point markers. Um, and then, so that's, you know, that's that step. Now you're going to pull all of them out. You know, what's underneath here? What's hanging out? Um, and you can do this, by the way, by, in a variety of different ways. I have a lot of pens here, so I'm trying to choose right now. Um, what color? Any color choices you guys have? Got purple, blue, dark green, green, orange. I think since it's Halloween coming up, I think we'll do the orange. So then we're going to go and say, okay, this is the emotion. This emotion is really coming up in my life and it's affecting this. And so we're just meditating on that as we outline it, right? So we're just outlining the actual line. And we do this, you know, outlining this line, outlining this emotion, figuring it out, focusing on it until we've completed the piece. Now, for those of you who are just coming on, we're, you know, this is something that I really do um, when I'm feeling overwhelmed and stressed. So I start off with a sheet um, similar to this, and this is just a marbled piece of paper. You can start out with a blank paper um, if you'd like. And then I go back into it, and I let every emotion that I'm feeling out through my hand. So if I'm feeling frustrated, I'm gonna scribble, I'm gonna you know, hit the, the paper, I'm gonna do all sorts of stuff. And then I'm gonna go back and meditate on everything that I've put here. So really going back in and bringing in the brilliancy of your circumstance, like bringing in the color and, you know, and beautifying it and making it something that you love. Um, it's all about being present with you know, the manifestation of your emotion. And um, I have to tell you, the longer I do this, when I sit with this and I'm outlining, you know, every little piece of my emotion, I'm getting to know it. I'm seeing the energy that I put into it, right? Now I know the lighting isn't very good, so you might have trouble seeing what I'm doing here, right? But we're just outlining these spaces. What's in here? What was I feeling when I scribbled this? And just being present, not judging, but being present with everything that you've put down. And over time, you will start feeling that the emotion, the overwhelming emotion, the stress, the anxiety, 